Hello and welcome to a new video here on Computer Cat Gaming. And today I want to show you a working progress uh, program I've been working on for quite a while. Uh, it's been an on off project. Uh, I've been working on, on uh, working on it on my spare time. And uh, yeah, here it is. Um, excuse me for the loading, but here it is. It's a user interface for the program FFMPEG. And uh, well, the story behind it is uh, that I was very unhappy with how Elgato Game Capture HD software exported uh, my PS2 gameplay. It only deinterlaced it to 25 FPS, which I really didn't like. It looks like something like this. Uh, I will show a video here. Uh, very sluggish. I don't like it. Most people probably don't care, but I do, and uh, that started a journey of a solution to convert uh, the original Elgato file into uh, 50 frames per second instead of 25. And that led me to the rabbit hole of uh, FFMPEG uh, commands and uh, ways to do it. Uh, and uh, that ended me up here, which is my own program, which uh, tells the original program uh, to do the task, but without all the command lines and stuff. The only hard part is to program the whole thing and uh, I learned quite a lot of things from uh, just this and uh, yeah, I'm excited to share it with you all. So basically, here we have uh, text boxes and uh, uh, combo boxes and all that stuff and uh, if we dive into, a, into the code a little, let's go into here, uh, basically uh, all the functions I uh, have that we use here in the program in the FFMPEG, I've uh, created them as strings. So here, I don't remember that one, but here, for example, here's the interlace. So uh, if I want to de interlace a video, I check that box and select a de interlacing option in this combo box and then well since I check the box it will do this task okay so then it will tell it will take uh, the the interlacing option I had in the combo box and put it into the string and which will then later be sent into this uh, long uh, here this long line of code here, uh, which basically collects all of the strings above. And, uh, well, it will input it to, into the original program, FFMPEG, which then will do the process. We will start here. So, uh, uh, we probably did not understand any of that wording. Um, Program, uh, programming languages, <laughs> they're complicated, um, so I don't have the brains to explain all of it. But either way, basically, like any program that converts video, uh, you select a video, and I just selected the same video because it's a good example. Um, and here, I made it so you can save and uh, delete and use presets. So basically I've created a piece preset here for Sly 2 for the PS2 and basically I will select it and I've already put in uh, pre-configured options for myself like the resolution, the way to deinterlace that will allow me to get 50 frames per second in the video and I've even cropped the video to get rid of black bars I just checked it in uh, outside of the program to know how big it should be. And here is the quality. 
the lower number, the higher the quality, basically, with this one. So if there's fifth, if I choose the value 50, the quality will be really bad. Uh, so don't use that. Uh, if you want good quality, good, go with something like uh, 18 or 14 or probably above if you don't care about uh, your storage. Um, but either way, I will uh, tell it to go uh, 2 minutes and uh, to 5 minutes. So basically the video will only be 3 minutes long. And uh, I will export it to my desktop. And now it will start. And since there is no, uh, no footage for the first 2 minutes, uh, minutes that I am exporting, it uh, won't do anything right there until now. So now it's starting exporting and it will be done when it reaches 3 minutes. And the entire clip is 25 minutes so it's uh, we're missing quite a bit of uh, video information. But soon it should be done. Only one minute left. Oh and uh, now it now it is done. And I saved it on my desktop, uh, so if I go to desktop or skriveboard that I got here, which is basically desktop, it will have the video here, which is export, the same name, and if I look at the properties, it's 3 minutes, it's 720p, it's 50 frames per second, like I said earlier, uh, this the interlacing option. Uh, gives 50 frames instead of 25 uh, for this clip which is really really nice and uh, well let's look at it it should be really smooth yeah I think it's smooth and there's no dumb black bars around which is very nice and uh, probably shouldn't even put in 720 you should probably or like uh, excuse me I'll pause oh yeah uh, I got interrupted right there um, but I was talking about you should probably not put in one uh, 1280 uh, by 720 here because that's a 16 by 9 resolution and uh, you probably don't need those extra pixels to show that, so go with 960 instead. It's a better resolution. But either way, um, yeah, we'll save it here, so now, now it will overwrite that. So either way, uh, let's close OBS here. Um, this program will be downloadable in the description. However, you will need the source program which is ffmpeg and i will not include it sorry um, but you can download it on their website and when you download my program it will look something like this it will include this and this folder probably and uh, some extra stuff but it will not contain this you need to download it yourself and you can just do that by going into their website download it export it and put the same file into the folder of my program. Uh, if you're tech savvy enough, you should know how to do that. Um, I will make it easier in the future with my program. It will probably uh, be able to download it itself. But either way, uh, I hope you found it interesting. And uh, I hope you all can come with constructive criticism. Which can make the program better for all of us. Uh, it's all just a hobby project, so um, it can improve from here. And uh, I hope you liked it, and uh, have a good night, bye bye.